Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Genesis chapter 41. And before we begin, we have to remember what happened last time. Remember, Joseph interpreted the dreams of two prisoners in prison with him, both connected to the Pharaoh. The cupbearer was supposed to remember that Joseph did this thing for him, but verse 23 of chapter 40 says this, Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. Let's begin. After two whole years, Pharaoh dreamed that he was standing by the Nile, and behold, there came up out of the Nile seven cows attractive and plump, and they fed in the reed grass. And behold, seven other cows, ugly and thin, came up out of the Nile after them, and stood by the other cows on the bank of the Nile. And the ugly, thin cows ate up the seven attractive, plump cows, and Pharaoh awoke. And he fell asleep and dreamed a second time. And behold, seven ears of grain, plump and good, were growing on one stalk. And behold, after them sprouted seven ears, thin and blighted by the east wind. And the thin ears swallowed up the seven plump, full ears. And Pharaoh awoke. And behold, it was a dream. So in the morning his spirit was troubled. He sent and called at all for all the mag magicians in Egypt and all its wise men. Pharaoh, to Pharaoh told them his dreams, but there was none who could interpret them to Pharaoh. I remind you in our last chapter what Joseph had said to the uh, to the prisoners. He says in verse eight. Do not interpretations belong to God? So here, these uh, people who come to try to interpret Pharaoh's de dreams, they're not looking at the wisdom of God to interpret them. And so they are coming up with not very good interpretations. Joseph is right. The interpretation to the dream comes from God. Then the chief cupbearer, sir, cupbearer said to Pharaoh, I remember my offenses today. When Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me and the chief baker in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, we dreamed on the same night, he and I, each having a dream with its own interpretation. A young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard. When we told him, he interpreted our dreams to us, giving an interpretation to each man according to his dream. And as he interpreted to us, so it came about. I was restored to my office, and the baker was hanged. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they quickly brought him out of the pit. And when he had shaved himself and changed his clothes, he came in before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I have had a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it. I have heard it said that you, of you that you have heard a dream you can interpret it. Joseph answered Pharaoh, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh a favorable answer. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Behold, in my dream I was standing on the banks of the Nile. Seven cows, plump and attractive, came up out of the Nile and fed in the reed grass. Seven other cows came up after them, poor and very ugly and thin, such as never seen in all the land of Egypt. And the thin, ugly cows ate up the first seven plump cows. But when they had eaten them, no one would have known that they had eaten them, for they were still as ugly as they beginning. Then I awoke. I also saw in my dream seven ears growing on one stalk, full and good. Seven ears withered, thin, and blighted by the east wind sprouted after them. And the thin ears swallowed up the seven good ears. And I told it to the magicians, but there was no one who could explain it to me. Then Joseph said to Pharaoh, The dreams of Pharaoh are one. God has revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good cows are seven years. And the seven good ears are seven years. The dreams are one. The seven lean and ugly cows that come up, came up after them are seven years. And the seven empty ears blighted by the east wind are also seven years of famine. It is as I told Pharaoh, God has shown to Pharaoh what he is about to do. There will come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt. But after them, there will arise seven years of famine and all the plenty will be forgotten in the land of Egypt. The famine will consume the land, and the plenty will be unknown in the land for by, by reason of the famine that will follow, for it will be very severe. 
And the doubling of Pharaoh's dream means that the thing is fixed by God, and God will shortly bring it about. Now therefore, let Pharaoh select a discerning and wise man, and set him over the land of Egypt. Then, and let Pharaoh proceed to appoint overseers over the land, and take one-fifth of the produce of the land of Egypt during the seven plentiful years. And let them gather all the food of these good years that are coming, and store up grain under the authority of Pharaoh for the food in the cities, and let them keep it. That food shall be, be a reserve for the land against the seven years of famine that are to occur in the land of Egypt, so that the land may not perish through the famine. Joseph is remembered by the cupbearer and interprets the dreams of Pharaoh and gives to him wonderful advice and says to Pharaoh that this interpretation comes from God. Joseph is right in saying that this is all planned out by God to do what? To bring prosperity to Joseph and in turn will later read to his family as well. We'll pick up next time with chapter 41 starting at verse 37. Please subscribe to this channel and then also uh, share this with others and let them know that they can also read the Bible with Pastor.